All right, this is Mark, and I'm going to discuss in this video uh, two ways to prevent shorts for your uh, one how duplicator. Um, this one is a one how duplicator i3, and I made a video recently showing how these thermistors, when you uh, when you bend these into the hole that your heating block has, and then you uh, you you bend it over and you secure it with a machine screw and washer like this one uh, that the the small electrical connection <clears throat> uh, that goes into this glass thermistor bead which has a crystal inside there um, right where the two parts meet is where this is bent over the block making an electrical connection right here on the edge and so the only way to prevent that is uh, essentially to cover and insulate uh, the wires better somehow. So uh, there's two methods we're going to talk about. This is the first method where uh, we're going to drill a hole in, a, in a, one of the blocks and we're going to line it with some PTFE tubing and this is four millimeters by uh, like four feet or so. I think it's like four foot long. Uh, the inside diameter is 1.75 millimeters. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use these materials as well as some Kapton tape and this Kapton tape is going to uh, be used for the second method where I make a special kind of flap uh, to secure your thermistor inside here and the flap just insulates the edge so that the um, electrical connection can't be made and there can't be a short so let me uh, let's get started I'm going to take this one first now this one here has two holes in both sides for the thermistor and for our machine screw and washer. So uh, this one here I'm going to show how to uh, use Kapton tape on one side and I'm going to drill out the other side and put in some PTFE tubing. It's really simple. Alright so what I've done is I've removed some of the uh, the Kapton tape on the outside <clears throat> and uh, so I am going to drill this without putting in any sort of uh, clamp or anything because I want to take this out and I want to make sure that when I drill this hole I don't go any deeper than the hole that's already there so uh, I'm going to do it very slowly and uh, be very careful of course uh, you know of course use safety precautions not like what I'm doing and uh, <clears throat> another reason I kind of like to do it this way is that this is clamped this won't be completely centered because it will, uh, it could, if it's off center just a little bit, it's so close to this other hole and these threads that you could actually drill into that. So, as I drill it, you can see it moves exactly where it needs to move. So I'm going to slowly go in there. Very slowly. I can make sure it's not too deep. Back. Just make it deeper. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty good hole. And four millimeters is almost the exact size that uh, you can use to where you won't, you know, bust out the side and you won't interfere with the other hole. So uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do next is I'm going to insert the tube. But uh, since I cut this before, the outside is a bit flanged. So I'm going to take a razor blade and clean this this tube up here just a bit so that it will fit in there. Alright, so after cleanly trimming the PTFE tubing, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, insert that tube right into the hole. And it's a very snug fit. Won't come out. Alright, <clears throat> so there it is. Um, you can see that it's a nice flush cut. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So when we put our thermistor in here, there's no way the wires can short around the, uh, the edges. Alright, so this next mod is really simple. Uh, we're just going to use Kapton tape here. And uh, I've covered both holes. 
And like I said, this is where we uh, we actually put the PTFE tubing on, on this side, and then on this side we have uh, the Kapton trick I'm going to teach you guys. Uh, for this side, of course, um, I think actually the whole thing goes in the, in the, in the duplicator with this facing the front. So you probably wouldn't, uh, you'll have to probably reverse this if you have a stock heating uh, block. Um, but in this one, you would put the, the thermistor in this hole and you would bend it in this direction upwards and towards where your uh, heating resistor is here. If we were doing this with the uh, the stock setup, uh, the stock block, you would actually be putting it in this way. So for this trick, uh, the, the purpose of it is to make the edge of this block here where there's aluminum, we're going to make sure that we have uh, Kapton tape as insulation so that the thermistor, where the wires are going into the glass, don't bend over and make contact with that edge. So for this, all I did is I took Kapton tape and I covered this both holes. And then I'm going to cut this hole here where the thermistor goes in. And I'm going to try, try and draw an imaginary line through the center. And imagine that uh, this half over here is going to be, uh, this whole thing is going to be bent inwards and towards this other hole where the screw and washer go. So, uh, let's start here, about the center, and carefully, hopefully, poke a hole right there, and then I'm going to go around the edge slightly, and do the same on the other side, about halfway. And uh, now I'm going to use some tweezers, pointy tweezers, here. And I'm just going to make that flap go towards the other hole and push it against the wall of that hole so it sticks. So now we have insulation from here all the way about halfway down this hole. And that's where uh, the thermistor will go in, and that's where electrical connections, I think, uh, are being made and why people's boards are shorting out like mine did. So I'm going to do that and then when we bend it over there's no way that there can be an electrical connection made should these uh, smaller PTFE tubes slide back. So that's pretty simple and it's pretty cheap and will save you a lot of money and you won't have to get your board replaced. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the video and happy printing!